we're revisiting problem number two, but we need to change the rotation of the robot. So we need to program the robot to turn or rotate. You'll remember from part three, the blocks program requires some information from the robot. We need to know how the IMU is oriented on the robot. For this example, the orientation is again around the Z axis. And that rotating around the Z axis is called yaw. Now that we know we want to rotate the robot around the Z axis orientation, let's write that op mode. We already have a function that will return the Z orientation of the robot. And we can use this function within this function which will rotate the robot clockwise. We need the robot to turn around the z-axis clockwise 90 degrees. Let's create a function that will yaw right to any orientation from 0 to 180 degrees. You mean the robot will take a right turn? Correct. Let's do an incremental save op mode before we create the next function. Now, let's write down the steps needed to rotate the robot clockwise. We'll need to set the power so the robot rotates in a clockwise direction, which means the positive and negative power levels will be in the reverse of the rotate CCW levels. And we'll loop until we've reached the target orientation. And finally, we stop the motors and rest before we go forward again. So let's write that up mode. Go to the functions category to create a function with input. Name the function rotate CW for clockwise. Then create an input called target orientation angle. Now, we're going to add some comments that explain what we're going to have the function do. It is possible to copy and paste blocks from other groups of blocks. Make sure to change the first one to rotate in CW direction. The second one assumes we haven't turned more than 180 degrees. And the third one, get initial orientation about the z-axis. Let's select a set variable block and place it under the three comments and change it so it sets the z-orientation variable. Set the variable to the value returned by the get z-axis orientation function by getting a block with that name from the functions category and plugging it into the set block. Go to miscellaneous and add the comment, set power so robot rotates in CW direction under the variable set z orientation block. Now we need to set the motor powers to cause the robot to rotate clockwise. Go to actuators, DC motor, dual select, set power and set the left motor's power to 0.2 and the right to negative 0.2. Go to miscellaneous and add a comment, loop until we've reached the target orientation. Now we need to add the while loop that will continue the rotation of the robot until it reaches the target orientation. Go to loops, select the repeat while do loop and place under the comment. Let's add some logic to the while loop. Go to the logic category, select equal sign block, and place it next to the repeat while. Change the equal sign to a greater than sign. In the first blank of the math block, place the variable z orientation. And in the second blank of the math block, place target orientation angle variable. In the do of the loop, let's add a comment. Go to miscellaneous and select comment, then type update current orientation about z. Go to Variable, select Set Z Orientation To, and place below the comment. Connect the function Get Z Axis Orientation to it. Below the loop, place a comment Stop the Motors. To do this, go to Actuators, DC Motor, Dual, then select the Set Power block that has two zeros and place it below the comment. Now, add a comment, wait a moment for the robot to stop. To make the robot rest for a quarter second, go to Linear Op Mode and select the Call Ellipsis Sleep block. Place it under the comment and then change the milliseconds to 250. Now let's do an incremental save. Join us next time where we will finish the op mode. And until then, goodbye everyone! everyone.